What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and I don't know if you guys saw the Vetter Pocket Locker holster video, but it's causing some issues, and it's going to be the main reason why I stopped responding to comments. Um, it just is what it is. I've been sick of it. I've told you guys I'm sick of it for a long time. You guys must not understand how the industry works. If you get a firearm, right, and it runs fine, you're going to say it's fine, right? Until it fails, then you're going to say it fails, right? If a holster that is supposed to protect you from your firearm going off runs fine you're gonna say it goes fine it, you're gonna say it's a fine holster right what happens when that fails right should i keep saying it's fine should i keep sticking with that product or should i switch up the borai pocket holster is a failed design i've had this conversation with people it wears down because of the way it's built stuff gets in there and wears on your firearm as well as that pocket holster all day long with that extended use 50 to 60 hours carrying it in crazy conditions, soaking wet, um, it, full of dirt, sawdust, pipe, sh pipe shavings, everything. It wears down. It's as of like two, two, three weeks ago or so, I don't even know when, it started not working properly. It falls off of my FN 503. I love the holsters. I honestly love them. I thought they were the best. But when you use it for a year, that product should hold up for more than a year. Then people are getting on me for going to the better pocket holster. You know what this has? This has a design where it doesn't matter what gets in there and rubs, your firearm can't pop out of there. It can't fall out of there and um, then that thing presses the trigger. The Borai Pocket um, holsters are great. They're just flawed. They just need to keep working on the design. The thing is, if that thing falls out, it is so thin, it can easily make its way into that trigger guard. There's been multiple times at work, I've been, I'm like, hey, check this out. Look at my pocket, quick, quick, quick. And I'm like, look at this. This could literally blow a hole in my leg. Literally, if I'm crouched, whatever, you know, I'm like, this is a mess. And they know I pocket carry all the time with that same holster. They know how it goes. Guys, I was told I shouldn't carry stuff that's going to fail. <sighs> Guys, we can all get a, you can, you can spend two grand on a firearm that runs fine for 100 rounds, 200 rounds, 300 rounds, 400, and then starts failing every round, even if it's been clean, whatever. You can spend $800 on a firearm and it's a lemon right out of the box. Guys... I carried it for a year. I told you my experience with it for a little, I think it was a little under a year. Um, I've explained my experience with it, that I loved it. So, but if you don't carry in the conditions I do, it's probably going to last longer. But the truth is I'm carrying it in extreme conditions. Therefore, it doesn't last as long. It's going to wear out. That's a dangerous issue. I don't get what the issue is here. Do you want me to continue and tell you that it works and runs flawlessly and that I carry it every day? Or do you want me to be honest and bring the problems to you? They're saying I'm not being transparent, yet when I'm being transparent, it's an issue. Guys, I'm done responding to the comments. Can't do it anymore. Even the nice comments, even the good comments, even the questions. Um, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm sick of this. <laughs> it's a waste of my time at this point. Um, so I'm going to be carrying with this. People are saying it's bulky. It's going to print. If it prints, I'd rather have a print than go off on me accidentally. Um, everyone I know that I work with knows I carry anyways. It's not a big secret. It's the people, oh my gosh, he's printing. No, that's not how it goes, guys. Everyone around me carries too. You know, it, it's not that big of a deal to print. I'd rather have something print than blow a hole through my leg. I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't know what you want. Um, what I do know is that these other channels, <laughs> it's funny. I have 32,000 subscribers and I'm being paid. That's what they're saying. I'm being paid by these companies. Give me a break, guys. Really? If I was being paid by these companies, I'd be balling. I'm not being paid. I have 30,000 subscribers, guys. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be real. Let's think. But anyways, guys, I appreciate it. Um, the people who understand. And also, I appreciate the people who don't understand. Because hopefully, they'll watch this video and realize, yeah, you're, you know, you're right. If you have a product that is working for you, then it works for you. But once it fails, it fails. How bad is the failure? Can it be fixed? Um, is it an issue that I caused? Is it an issue caused by the company? You know, there's a million routes to a failure. Um, and in this case, I think it's a product design flaw. They need to find a way that pre prevents stuff from getting that trigger guard and wearing down. Let me grab my FN 503. Let me take it out this holster. You can see where it wears down my holster. Look, this is where the better holst, I mean the uh, Borai pocket holster goes. See that? All that wear. Now, when you look and the Borai holster, it has the same exact wear, although much worse. The polymer on the 
Um, FN503 is stronger than the Kydex on that Borei pocket holster. It's wearing down more on the Borei pocket holster than my firearm, but with the two combined, it's a loose fit. It doesn't have retention anymore. It's not snug. I don't, I don't know what you guys want. Like, I don't know what more you want from me. It's, the proof is there. That's exactly where that thing rides and rubs all day long. See it? Notice how it's not back in here. It's only up here where that holster rides. Look at where it stops. Notice where it stops on my fire. Look at how it's just a little bit up above this part where my finger is right here. Look at that. That's exactly where the pocket holster rides, guys. I don't know what you want from me. If you want me to keep endorsing products that fail, can potentially cause you to get hurt, I'm not gonna do it. So, and I, I'm not gonna throw away my channel for a bunch of people who just don't get it. So anyways, thanks guys, appreciate it.